if you are going to use star to align RNA secrets to a reference sequence, or let me rephrase it. If you are going to uh, map RNA secrets to a reference sequence using the star aligner tool, then you need to first create a genome index. So let's go and take a look at the star manual. Okay, it has instructions that we can use to generate genome indexes. So let's do that now. So it is a page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when you open the manual, make sure to scroll down to uh, this section, generating genome indexes. So we have the basic options here. So when you call star, you also need to specify these options. Okay, so we have number of threads, we have run mode, we also have a genome da. Okay, so this is where the output files will be stored. You also have to specify the first A file or first A files if you have more than one. And then you also need to specify the GTF file. And then you also have this option. This one, we are not going to use it. We will use the default settings. I'll add another option also. So uh, basically, this is what we have to do. So let's go back to the terminal and then generate our genome index. Okay, so we are back to the terminal. So let's first create a directory called index. So I'll say make the data slash index. We will use this to store the output files. Now we are going to execute our star command. Okay, so we will create a script and in that script we will put the star command that will be used to generate the genome index. So I'll use nano to create a script, but you can also use any text editor. So I'll say nano generates index.sh. And then I'll add my shebang line. Then the next line, I'll place my star command. So I'll say star and I'll say, dash dash run thread n that's number of threads i'll say eight i'll move to the next line i'll indicate the run mode which is this so the run mode is genome generates let's move to the next line so we specify genome there Okay, that will be data slash index. We have already created this directory. Let's specify the first A file. So that is genome first A files. So that will be data slash ref slash dm6 dot fa. Let's specify the GTF. So that will be s jdb gtf file and that is data slash ref slash dm6 dot jtf let's add another option which is genome sc index and this is, we specify 12 so that's what we have so we are going to run this command so let's save the changes. I also try to make download links to the scripts in the description box. Okay, so uh, you can download the scripts and then use them for your own activities. So let's save the changes and exit. Okay, that has been done. So if you do an ls now, you will see that the script has been created. We now have to add execution rights. So I'll say ch mode plus x, and I'll say generate index.sh. So let's run this. Okay, now we can generate the genome index. So I'll say dot slash, and I'll say generate index.sh. So let's run this command. Okay, now the process has started. So let's wait for star to complete its work. Okay, star has completed its work. So um, the genome index has been generated. 
so we can take a look at the output file so if you do an ls into data slash index you are going to find the output files there nice now we can map the RNA sequence to the reference sequence. 